I'm Lincoln Trigg, uh, raised in Cape Nome, and um, I live here most of my life, and I enjoy living here. My mother and dad, they worked all over Seward Peninsula. I kind of lived because they worked with a gold mining company. I used to go with my dad. He used to catch seals out here in the winter. We used to go crabbing out here in wintertime, too. We used to get them by the sled load in them days, just hand landing, you know. <laughs> so. In northwest Alaska, like in areas such as the Bering Land Bridge National Preserve, local knowledge can be one of our greatest resources. Families such as Lincoln's have used this land for a subsistence lifestyle for several generations. They are deeply interwoven with the Arctic environment and can provide great insight with real-life accounts of our Earth's dynamic changes. The ice conditions, it's not like it used to be. It's uh, thinner and um, moving, moving faster and leaving faster than uh, the earlier days. I think uh, time goes and we cannot stop progress or uh, things change more trucks, more vehicles, and fishing changed too during the salmon run. Sometimes there's hardly any fish, sometimes there's some, because uh, I guess that's that way all over, maybe parts of Alaska, hardly any fish, so our pride and joy. <laughs> As the Arctic continues to change at a rate more rapid than lower latitudes, local accounts of these changes and how their culture continues to adapt is a great resource in the complex task of understanding both current and future challenges in a changing climate.